Welcome to lecture number 13 of this series Unreal 5 for Archives and in today's lecture we'll model the basic structure of Archive. So let's get started. Let me first select all of these and let's move them in a different collection. I'll rename this as wall underscore decor. Okay. Yeah. I'll also select both of these and let's move them in a different collection. I'll call this as cupboard. Okay. And let's rename this collection as table. Let's create a new collection and I'll rename this as bed and let's hide everything else. Yeah. Let's go into the top view and let's bring in a reference image this is the front view of the bed to set the scale for this reference image I'll move this reference image and I'll align my 3d cursor with this corner and let's bring in a single vertex I'll extrude this vertex on x-axis and I'll type in 3.35 meters Okay, now let's change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and I'll scale up this reference image to match the blueprint line. The scaling might be off for this bed, but just bear with me now. Okay, and yeah, let's delete this vertex and let's move this reference image. And I'll copy the scale value for this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's bring in another reference image. Yeah. Okay. Let's paste the scale value and we're good to go. Yeah. Let's move this one on X as well. Let's change the transform pivot point back to median point and I'll rotate this image on X axis by 90 and I'll rotate this image on X by 90 and on Z by 90. Yeah. Let's move this on Y and let's decrease the opacity for both of these 0 0.5 I'll select this one and Let's decrease this to 0 0.5 as well. Okay. Let's go into the front view and let's bring in a single vertex. Okay. Let's extrude this on X and I'll type in 3.35 meters. I'll select everything and I'll extrude them on Z. And let's match them with the blueprint line. Okay. Let's select everything. I'll move into the side view and let's align them with the side view as well. And let's extrude this on Y yeah okay let's go into the front view and i'll create a copy on z axis and let's snap this mesh with this one i'll go into the edit mode select these vertices let's disable the snapping and move this one on x yeah let's go in the side view and i'll select these vertices and let's move them on Y. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the front view and let's create another copy. Okay. And let's snap this with this point. I'll move this one on X and let's snap it with this point. I'll go into the edit mode and I'll select these vertices. 
and let's move them on x axis. Yeah. Okay. Let's move into the side view. Let's move into the side view and I'll select these vertices and I'll move them on Y. Okay. Yeah. Let's create a copy on X and let's snap it at this point. Okay. Let's go into the front view and I'll select this mesh. Let's create a copy on Z axis and I'll snap it with this mesh. I'll go into the edit mode and let's align the bottom vertices. Okay. I'll select these two. I'll select these vertices and move them on X. Select these two and move them on X. Let's select this mesh. Let's go into the front view. Yeah. Let's create a copy on X axis and let's snap this at this point. Okay. I'll select these vertices and let's move them on X. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the side view and I'll select these vertices and move them. Yeah, okay. Let's select this mesh and let's create a copy. Move this one on X and let's snap it at this point. Yes. Yeah, I think the basic structure for the bed is ready. Let's delete these reference images. Okay. And I'll select everything. Let's set the origin to geometry for these objects. And let's unhide everything else. Yeah. Let's move this bed and bring it into our bedroom. Let's move this one right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the front view and let's align this on Z axis. Let's enable snapping and I'll snap it at this point with the surface. Let's move this one on X. Let me disable my snapping. And let's move this one on X. Yes, I think this looks fine. Okay. Okay, so I think the basic structure of the bed is ready. And in the next lecture, we'll start working on the other items by using the cloth simulations. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next lecture.